Check out this Macabicus time saver. We're just going to press Alt Shift and minus sign on our keyboard, and we've collapsed all the group rows on the worksheet, and we can press Alt Shift equals to unhide them. Now let's press Control Alt Shift minus sign, and we've collapsed all the columns, and Control Alt Shift equal sign, and we've expanded them all. This is really clever Macabicus functionality that allows you to expand or collapse all the grouped rows and columns in not only a worksheet, but also a workbook. The native Excel way of doing this would be to select the entire worksheet. You can go outside of your used range, say over here on cell P2, and then press Control A on the keyboard, and then press Alt A H to hide all of the grouped rows and columns, and Alt A J to expand them. And then another way of doing this um, would just be to use these ones and twos over here, which represent the groupings. You can press a 1 to collapse the columns, and then this one right here to collapse the rows, and press the 2s to expand them. This method, as well as Alt A H and Alt A J, won't work if you select multiple worksheets down below here. So this is where Macabicus comes in. So if now we press Alt Shift minus sign, it will ask us if we would like to perform this operation on multiple worksheets. Let's press OK. And let's go Control Alt Shift minus sign for the columns. And we can see that on both tabs, the rows and columns are now collapsed. This is amazing for large workbooks going across multiple tabs, where we would like to, say, hide or collapse the grouped rows and columns very quickly. Now let's expand them out again, selecting both worksheets at the bottom here on the navigator. Now let's press Control Alt Shift equal sign to expand the columns and Alt Shift equal sign to expand the rows. And we can see that's reflected on both worksheets. An alternative way to collapse all the groupings using Macabicus would be to enable this in your Prepare to Share settings, going up to Share, Prepare to Share. We love this feature at CFI. It's great when sending a workbook to an external client or to someone else within the organization. You can enable Collapse, Grouped Rows and Columns, which will apply it to the entire workbook, which we have enabled right here. So pressing OK, you can see that the grouped rows and columns are now collapsed. Enjoying these tips and would like to see more of our content? Then hit like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for all your support and we'll see you over in the next video.